is Devin from AvrilBandaids.com. I'm here backstage at Much Music with Avril Levine. Nice to see you again. We're just uh, chilling out on some stairs. It's yeah. awesome. We get to sit down during this interview. <laughs> Relax and kick back. So, really good performance out there. It was definitely something different that we haven't seen from you at the MFDAs. Um, what was the concept behind your performance tonight? Well, what did it come about? Um, we wanted to step it up with if this is a, an award show and it's a big performance. So, there's like 20 kids that kind of like run out on stage, and, and it's just bringing a lot more energy to the song. And the whole concept behind it is really just like a celebration of, you know, what the song is and everyone who grew up just being like wild and free. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm happy and I'm excited to do something different. Definitely. It, it definitely uh, looks really good out there. Now as for the actual video, um, I think fans are pretty shocked to see the uh, throwback scene. It looked almost exactly the same, which was like, I mean, the fountain of youth is doing wonders. So <laughs> how did the um, video concept come out? Well, the director had the idea of just shooting the video around the prom, and I really like that because it would take us back to like high school, and um, that's a lot. Like we thought about that, like when we were writing the song, like we were in high school and like we were younger and like all that stuff. And then it was my idea, I was like, with the song being called Here's Never Growing Up, I was like, I want to wear a necktie, and then I, it just kind of turned into, okay, well, let's do the full look, it's complicated. Well, that's really cool. Um, so this album, you also switched record companies to Epic Records, um, working with um, L.A. Reid, is one of your mentor, and the guy who signed you, obviously. How is it different working with L.A. Reid compared to your, um, your last few albums of RCA? Working with L.A. Reid, I really get to just, um, do my thing. I've always done my thing. Um, the only time I ever had a like, kind of conflict with the label was the last one. Um, just like s certain people just maybe didn't understand what I was going for and supported, so therefore it was a little bit challenging, <laughs> unfortunately. But the good news is, is that um, I'm back with L.A. Reid, and he's very supportive, and he's got everyone very excited, and you know, he just... He tells me, he's like, you know, Avril, just you let me know what it is that you want to do, what you're feeling, and I'm here to help you achieve that. And for me to have that pure freedom of getting to do what it is that I really feel like I should do, or what I want to do, and what direction I want to go in, it's, it's a really nice feeling, and like it, I think that that's a good thing, you know. Someone that's got your back when you're, you want to be creative, and so I'm so happy, and everyone is excited, and it's, it's very lovely. That's good to hear, and obviously, you're interested to be husband Chad is on your uh, side with this album. How are we going to see his influence on this record? Well, it's cool because I mean, I always write with my people mostly, I write alone, and I write with other people, and um. On this record, I worked with all new people, so new producers and new co-writers, and um, and it was just it was really fresh. And Chad, he's very talented, so he's you know he has a certain way of you know songwriting, good about songwriting, and um, and I have my own way. We're both so different, so when we come together, we've got like totally different ideas. We talk about it. And, bounce different ideas off each other and it's it's been good. It's been interesting. I've learned from him and I'm sure he's learned from me in, in certain ways, like me being a chick, things I would say and the different melodies I would my approach. So it's uh good. That's good to hear. Now on New Music Live when you were here a few weeks ago you also mentioned a possible back to back album since you have so much material from writing for over a year absolutely so um, what can you tell us about the songs you left off this album and you want to release one day? Um, well, they're really good. <laughs> like, really, like, music I put a lot into and that I'm dying to release and to give to the fans as well as the ones that are on this record. The ones that went on this record make sense together. The ones that didn't make the record are 
it just is equally as good, and it's like the same thing, but there were so, like, so many different styles that, you know, I didn't want it to be all just the same, so it's, the, the record's really diverse, and so the, the other music that I have, I, um, because it means a lot to me. It's really close to me. And I, I wrote a ton of songs because I wanted to, to make this album strong. And then when you put a body of music together, you want it to make sense and tell a story. And, um, and we did that with this record. But, you know, I am who I am. And the music that I write is me. And the other songs, like I've got a song that I wrote for my foundation. And it's called Fly. And I will definitely be releasing that, and I've got a bunch of other songs that I'm really excited about, but it was kind of like, okay, what makes sense with what? Do you have single material in your head right now? Single. For, for, for like, like the next single, or like the next single I'll produce everywhere. Um, yeah, I think we're going to release Rock and Roll. Okay. So can you tell, can you tell us about Rock and Roll? Um, it's like pop rock, and Rock and Roll is about the lifestyle and the attitude Rock and roll, and it's um, it's a cool song. Yeah, it's like it's like super pop, but it's it's like it's my vibe, and it's, it's more upbeat than the first single. Perfect. Well, we're excited for that single. Obviously, we're also excited for you to go on another world tour. Um, do you have any plans sometime soon to you know embark embark the world tour? Yes, I just had my big conference call the other day. Oh, okay. And we're planning it. Um, we don't have official dates at the moment, but probably like. Do you have any ideas in mind of where you want to go on this tour? Do you want it to be more intimate, or do you want Canada. it to be Canada? Canada, like Canada themed. Like I want to start in Canada. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to like um, do other countries as well? Do you want to go to some? I'm thinking I'll probably start in January. Oh, January. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so Abby Dawn, obviously. Obviously, I want to go everywhere. Oh, perfect. So um. So this is hard, but. Also, we're really happy to see that you went to France over the summer, and you started to learn French, which is probably something really new for you. Um, name one like really good memory when you were in France. I think the best part of being in France for me was um, being so independent and alone by myself, and um, taking on another adventure and learning another language. Going back to school, <laughs> like that was a really hard. It sucked. I had to wake up early. And um, I'm not a morning person. And I was jet lagged. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm definitely going to keep, keep doing that. And um, it was just really fulfilling for, for me, for my soul, just to, to go back and to do that. And um, I love the French culture. I love the new challenge. And um, To all your fans watching out there worldwide from countries around the world, do you have anything you want to say to Band-Aids and fans around the world? Band-Aids, you guys have been around for my whole career, and you're an amazing website. And thank you so much for, for following me, even like when I'm in the studio for a year, and no idea what I'm doing. But, you know, just you guys like update the fans on what I'm doing. Achieved and things like that, and you know, you guys have been so committed, and I really appreciate it. And I think it's really cool. And thank you, and it's pretty spectacular. You guys are the, the number one fan, yeah. Yeah, we you're like, Yeah, we're kind of <laughs> supporting you and we love to see what you're doing. You know, for the rest of your career will definitely be at the following and supporting you wherever you go. Well, I feel very lucky, so thank you. That's fine. Happily being. Thank you for sitting with us today. And